Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. And some of you, I'm sure a lot of you have already had these, but a lot of you may not. There's a, a lot of different people from all over the world that pop in on this channel from time to time. And so it may be something completely different to them. And what we're going to make today are some jalapeno poppers. And we're going to show you how to wrap them up. So the first thing you're going to need to do is have some cream cheese. It doesn't really matter the brand of the cream cheese. You can use the most inexpensive cream cheese that you want. But, a box of cream cheese. And the trick is, is to leave it out of the refrigerator for a while until it's nice, soft, and pliable. Next thing you're going to need is, of course, jalapeno peppers. Now, the trick to slicing these peppers, you want, like, this one's a fairly good one, or this one. See how it's curved? You don't want to slice it laying flat, okay? Because if you do, is what's going to happen is you're going to have this half of your pepper, and it's not going to sit properly. You want to have, if it's curved, you want both ends facing up. You want to get in here right beside the stem. Do not de-stem it. And just go right straight down the center. And we're going to slice all of our peppers in this manner. This one looks a little bizarre for a jalapeno pepper. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to get rid of all these seeds and you have to get rid of these veins. You want to get rid of all this white that you possibly can because if you don't I hope you like really hot food because it is going to light you up. Alright, I've got my peppers de-veined, de-seeded, and rinsed out. Tried to rinse out all the loose seeds and all that kind of fun stuff. So this is kind of what you end up with. Next thing we're going to want to get out is the bacon. Now, I'm not recommending, normally good bacon is, is pretty expensive. And quite honestly, good bacon is not important in this. You actually want thin bacon so that crisp up. You don't want, if you get the expensive stuff, you wind up cooking it too long. Okay, then we're going to get our cream cheese opened up. Goodness, what a pain. This probably would have worked a lot better if I'd used the sharp side. And the last item that we need is some toothpicks. You might as well go ahead and get you a piece of paper towel or something, lay it over on the side because you are about to make a mess. So we want to get in here we're just going to grab some cream, cream cheese and you start stuffing.
there's really no right or wrong way in this. And there's a lot of people that like to do a lot more with poppers. You'll see it with chicken in them or shrimp or all different kinds of brisket. I've seen every every type under the sun. But quite honestly, I like the the old original the best. So we're gonna grab us a piece of bacon. boy. Goodbye, counter. I will destroy you. And there we go. One popper ready to go. And you just continue on with the bacon. I like it when they end up just perfect. Then I just put one toothpick in them. That's a good popper right there. Some of these longer poppers, you're definitely going to have to use toothpicks, two toothpicks, or it will never hold together as you're turning the poppers on the grill. Well, look at that. Doesn't that look great? Come on, stretch. And there we go. We got them all made up. Those are going to be delicious. So there we are. We got our poppers ready and now they're ready to be shown to the grill. So it's been raining on and off so I had to put the grill underneath the cover. But we're about to put these jalapenos on. And I find the best way is to put them face down at first. Now, if the cream cheese starts running out of them, of course, you need to flip them over. But we're trying to crisp up that bacon on the bottom, or actually on top. Oh, boy. The grill is a little bit hotter than I normally like it, but I'm having some severe weather here. They're predicting, I don't know, 50 to 70 mile an hour winds this evening. So some 50 to 70 mile an hour winds this evening and it's not ideal cooking weather, but we're gonna do it. Move the old smoky. Yeah, my camera work is sucking on this. I tell you what, if you've been out for a month and a half, it's amazing how you just go back to amateur. I, well, no, I was amateur before. Now I'm sub-amateur. Anyway, we got those on. We're going to let them sit for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. If I notice the cream cheese starting to come out of them, we're going to go ahead and flip them over. And we're going to get these jalapeno peppers cooked. Cooked? We're going to get these jalapeno peppers cooked. My goodness. We'll see you in a minute. Now, let's see what we got here. It's been a few minutes. Oh, yeah. That one's getting done done. Oh, yeah. Too hot. Take 
take you and put you back here. Take you and put you back here. Yeah, they're coming along. I like it. All right. We'll give them a little. Now that we flipped them over, it's going to be another 30 minutes or so. So we'll see how it goes. Well, folks, it is dark out here. This might be the last video of the night. Mother Nature is working against me. Oh, shit. They're done. Look at that. I got to go get something. It is fixing a storm like hell. Wow. It is pitch black outside. It is like 6.45. Not, not 6.45. 5.45 in the evening. Let me, let me let you have a gander. Oh, of course it's not going to. Yeah, of course it's not going to do anything. So it's 5.45 in the afternoon. It's pitch black outside. The wind picked up to about 40 miles an hour. I had to roll the awning in. It started raining. But look. We have poppers. They're molten hot. My advice to you is don't eat these right off the grill. It will remove all the skin off the inside of your mouth. So, that was an adventure. Who knew? Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. I'm going to eat these here in about 30 minutes. I'm going to try to get my pork steak done, but it's not looking good. I'm probably going to have a uh, ham sandwich with my, with my dinner. So, anyway, fun stuff. We'll see you next time. Take care. Ah! Bug. Never mind.